Hey there, Alan Matthews here from Classical Guitar Shed, and guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna speed up our playing today. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to speed up passages and scales so that we can play them more quickly without just bludgeoning them over and over and over again, hoping that they get faster. All right, here it comes up in one sec. All right, let's say that we have a passage. This is the opening of Capriccio Arabe, and let's say, Oh no, it's not fast enough. We just can't get it. It seems to be always just too slow. So how can we speed this thing up? One way to do it is to just keep playing it over and over. Put on the metronome and just turn it up one click at a time. And that way is great, but it's not the, it's not the most effective way because sometimes what happens is we have too many things going on at one time. So we have our fingers and they can move in a particular speed. But then we've also got our mind, and in a piece of music or in a scale, we have to know what the next note is. So if that, if getting the next note, if that part is not fast enough, then we're going to stumble and we're going to foible every single time. So then the question is, how do we make it so that our mind can keep up with this speedy phrase? And that's what we're gonna talk about here. So let's say that we just have a row of quarter notes. It could be eighth notes, it could be 16th notes, whatever it is. But just like this, we have a steady rhythm, just like we do in this, um, in this Capriccio passage, right? It's all 16th notes. So then, so that's in, in steady quarter notes. This is how it's actually written. This is the music on the page. It wouldn't be lo looking like this exactly, but that's what it is, it's an even rhythm. So instead of just doing that, one of the things that we can do, use a dotted rhythm. And this is, this is basically just like a really small speed burst. So in speed burst, we play a bunch of notes and then we wait and then we play a bunch of notes. Well this, we just play two notes closer together and then wait. So instead of, instead of absolutely straight, we have, so instead of one and two and three and four and one and two and we have, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So now we have space within that line, every other note, but we're still playing two notes together very quickly. And this is especially great too if you're playing scales. Then it's a way that you can speed them up without speeding the entire thing up, and also without getting too much residual tension build up, which also happens whenever we just start blasting through and grinding. Instead, this allows you time to, and then two notes. Rest. And so you can relax in between each one. The next step of the process is then to go through and switch it so that the two notes that were next to each other now have a gap and the ones that had a gap between them are now next to each other. So before we went So now we go or with the scale versus and so that way we're compressing the two notes and then giving it some space and we can speed this up. It's kind of getting into a triplet rhythm instead of an absolute uh, straight four rhythm, but still you get the picture. And of course the entire thing could be done with eighths and sixteenths as well. It just looks a little bit different on the page, but in your head it's the exact same thing. So technically this with the Capriccio, because it's in sixteenths, then really what we're doing is dotted sixteenth thirty second. But if we were to actually write that out, it'd be just silly looking on the page. And so instead, we just make it all quarter notes and make it into dotted quarters and eighths, or eighths dotted, uh, dotted eight sixteenth. So this is a practice method we can use to actively speed things up. It works amazingly well, on, especially on shifts, moving down like this, like on this. Getting that shift in there, so putting the shift and then waiting, also with string crossings with right hand patterns is also through whatever you we're doing is also a great um, way to speed up the string cro crossings and get those more solid as well. All right, hope you have enjoyed this. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't and I look forward to talking to you in the near future. Bye.